gonna, yeah, I'm just checking out your table. So this is um, one, high, one high school, huh? North Division High School. Okay. Student Union Group. So I used to live on like 24th and McKinley. Is that near North Division? Where is North Division? Uh, not far from here, actually. So Center Street is the uh, next set of lights. Right, okay. And then it's a couple of blocks that way on 9th. On 9th, okay. Yeah. Good to know. Alright, cool. It's their podcast that they just launched. Oh, so uh, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud. Okay. Yeah. What's the name of the podcast? Youthology. You can have a card here. All right, here. Yeah, great. I'm a big podcast. I mean, I, I won't listen to every week or something, but I'll try to listen. Check it out. Yeah, the kids yeah. are taking, are leading the way and doing the asking and the, uh, the facilitating, and hopefully soon we'll be doing the editing and. Hopefully. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I listen to. Uh, you know, like literally hundreds of podcasts. I, I use RSS feeds. And I create a playlist every night and I put that online. Nobody looks at it, but whatever. It's, um, it's great. Well, um, check out uh, River West Radio. Do you have it? Yeah, you know, they, they screw up their RSS feeds. So some of their shows show up on RSS feeds and some don't. Like, but that's uh, the grass is greener. Yeah. I got to get her. She said, oh, well, I didn't fill out the form. Well, okay, you know, if you don't fill out the form, I won't listen to you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so, um, I mean, I can go to the, that's the thing. If you, if you follow all the rules, then you get an RSS feed. Yeah. If you don't, then everybody has to go to that website right. every single time. And, it, and that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's worth learning about RSS. Yeah, that's what she just uh, learned about and success, uh, succeeded you know, with You know what RSS is? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so that's your friend. It, it goes back to 1999. It predates Twitter. A guy my age invented it back, Dave Weiner, out of New York. Yeah, so I just put our episode on my SoundCloud, and then it sends it to my Right, but it, keep your eye out for the RSS feed, and it's only about three percent of your audience, or maybe even less. But they're they're high-powered, smart people, and then they can spread it to other people. God bless. So, all right, thanks. Yeah. Hey there. So what do you, you have a package for me? Yeah. So what do you got in Make what do you, you got, got in here? Make sure um, your children know it's describing what goes on at the museum and then that's an invitation to an open house. This is oh this paper here. Okay. When's the open house? Okay, the twenty sixth. Twenty sixth and I don't think I've been there. Twenty six twenty West Center. Okay. Cool. How long has this uh, historical museum been there? Since 1984. Oh man, <laughs> so that's that's pretty bad. I used to have a TV shop on like uh, 45th and Center. But I kind of know the neighborhood. All right, so I guess I could get. Can I get on your mailing list? You know, I got some people, I got some people who live in Florida. Can I send them off? Send it off to them? Although they're from the wall. I don't care. They live in Florida. Matter of fact, they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to uh, my son-in-law is trying to promote okay. to be down there. You know, okay. he got a 500 grab it, yeah. right? And he created a 501c3, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're on their way. Yeah. One step at a time. Right. But you know, but we, we the leaders. I tell you, you've been doing it for 50 years. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>
<laughs> so can you read that email? Oh, and then my, and then my daughter, the MK. My Greens. Uh, MKE Greens. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, uh, do you know uh, the support I charge? Thank you. Hey there, good. Where does trauma response to you? Okay. Oh, trauma. Okay. So, what's the mission with Milwaukee County? Um, so, are you uh, part of the co county employees? Wow. All right. So, so what does that mean, trauma response team? So, for, that sounds like sh something pretty scary. Like, what's the matter? We're in collaboration with the Office of Violence Prevention, Milwaukee Police Department, 57 District, okay. and um, other community organizations. Okay. And when when the police are fire department. When they come in contact with a family that the children have been exposed or experienced trauma, whether okay. in their home or in the neighborhood, right. they refer to us. Okay. And we connect with that family as a resource. And then we connect them with the resources that they need. We meet them where they are and begin to work with them and connecting them with different resources in the community. Well, are you connected with the Child Protective Services? Well, we're not connected with them, but so, we like, work with them. Are the parents in danger of losing their children? No. They're not? Not at all. Okay, good. Um, I mean, there are times where things are out of our hands, where, you know, certain things right. you have to report. Right. Them connecting with us after they talk to the police, they don't have to worry about us calling okay. the police. Yeah, I, under, I understand a little bit about that issue. But. And this is All the right. Children's Mobile Crisis Team. Okay. Anytime uh, a family feels that their child is in crisis where they can't control their temper or their emotions, okay. that parent can contact this team and actually they can come out physically or they can work with that family over the phone or that child over the phone okay. to de-escalate their child. Interesting. All right. And that's the county as well. As a matter of fact, this is um, this is actually a refrigerator mat. I'm sorry. Say again. It's actually a refrigerator mat. Oh, okay. That's cool. I mean, no, I don't. I think I can I get it on the video and maybe share it with the Green Party. But if I take it home, it'll you know. It'll go in the trash. It, I just yeah, I'm not a parent, so. And, and this is the resource and referral line to wrap around. If okay. a parent feels that they want that child uh, or that child need mental health services, they can call this line. Okay, call. Talk with those people. Get an assessment schedule, or they can evaluate and assess and, and inform that family of what programs that that child might. Um, my All right. So, so just so I understand, are you county funded? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Awesome. Uh, you like to uh, Um. Yeah. You know, I, I think I'm good. I'm um, trying to switch to pencils. But um, thanks so much. Good luck. All right. Thank you. So, hi there. Hi. Yeah, I was at a uh, the Palestinian demonstration on May 12th. And there was a guy who had a uh, bulletproof vest, carabiners all over his vest, and he had a weapon. He was about 24 years old, and I talked to him. Well, first off, when I saw him, I was like, whoa, it scared me. And then about a half an hour later, I kind of calmed down and I talked to him. And he said, yeah, it's interesting, you've got, it almost looks like a, maybe a bulletproof vest that you have on now. Yeah. And he had, he didn't have the camera, 
but that's interesting too that you got the camera. Um, but we talked calmly and it was cool, but I don't know, you know, it's, it's interesting when you, do you guys, how often do you run into somebody that, now he had it out so you could see it. So that makes it legal, is that yeah, it right? Makes it legal. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Okay. How and often that, do we run into that where we like with somebody openly carrying right. firearms like that? And plus in that crowd situation. Jesus Christ. Nowadays more than that. You know, we, we run into it. But that's that's the right. Yeah. That's okay. The right. To do it. right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we, you know, um, as long as you're not being reckless with it or anything. Yeah. 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 That's their, that's, that's their constitutional right. Okay. Well, so you guys have uh, various. Yeah. Well, what what I learned, frankly, is you got. It's like, do you want my ID? I give you my ID. I uh, I learned that when I was about 22 years old. I just. Uh, it's like, yeah, I gotta respect you guys, and officer, sir. On the other hand, we don't want to be complete bootlicking, um, you know, sheep, you know. So it's a, stuff, it's a fine line. But yeah, I, I respect. I both respect what's going on with, you know, that you're out in the street, and of course, I don't want to see you guys let loose with like 14 rounds in seven seconds, you know. Um, yeah, now he had his weapon. Could that have been a semi-automatic, or in terms of the law? I don't. Yeah. All right. Well, you seem pretty articulate, and I enjoy talking with you. Good talking. Yeah. Take care. All right. Hey there. Good, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Small, eh? Okay. You know, I, I, is there something called wisdom or. Yes. Expo is right next to us. Next. Oh, no, maybe it's some other acronym, but it's. Uh, I mean. There's a guy I know, Alan Schultz, who's an ex-con, who um, he's a, uh, he believes in the a abolition of prisons, you know. <laughs> so, Alan Schultz, do you know him? No, no, that's not me, that's somebody else. Is he He's um, not incarcerated, not but now. he not now. But he's I think he's involved in you know like the shutting down the, the Milwaukee Secure Detention Facility. I think oh, he's okay. involved. In wisdom. That's wisdom. That is wisdom. Okay. So what makes you guys different than wisdom, or what do you you know what do you do? Well, you he's a puppy with the bulldog. Oh, okay. Interesting. Can I take a quick look at this? Gotcha. So what kind of import, what do you do? Well, what we do is we use all the resources that's available to us. Okay. Um, if the conflict is in what department, the state department, if he comes from an officer is doing their thing, right. and he's being swept under, and through our investigation, we find out through the evidence what's really going on. And just like any organization, government organization, right. we hide the facts. We get the bosses involved, the governor involved, 
DOC. Do you do you get involved in uh, court case court cases and no, charges? No, we don't get involved in court cases no longer. No more than send them to the right legal section to find out exactly what you could possibly do to prison. So in the process, though, of incarceration, what at what point do you intervene? We we come afterwards. So the sentence has already been handed. The sentence has to be given. Yeah. We have to enter the prison system. Gotcha. Okay. You be there for a while before you acclimate yourself into it. Right. And the trouble start. Once the trouble start, then that's when you come in and they're not following the Constitution or the policy of the oh, mission state. So once there's some sort of uh, abuse of the prisoner? Yep. Okay. So what, what do I have there? This is... You want to see the XL? It's just our oh, okay. So I'm doing doing a video for the Green Party. I I can't guarantee it's going to turn out, but um, I will share it with them. Okay. So it's 15. And do you have? Um, uh, you want me to put it in the back? Do you have a website or a Facebook page? Do you have a website or a Facebook yeah, page? Yeah, we got a website. She can go on that information. That information. Okay. So she can go that information. It should be on the brochure. It's in the brochure. Did I give you a brochure? Uh, no, you didn't. I Thank you. Okay. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> if you're interested in it, sign up. And right. next time we have our meeting, we'll zoom in. What's right. your opinion? Contribute. Uh, we like to have volunteers. Our fun version. Contribute. Okay. Did you sign that list? Yeah, I think I can. Uh, right I can right sign who, 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 who are you with? I'm with a Green Party, uh, Greater Milwaukee Green Party, and I'm also involved in uh, uh, peace action, anti-war stuff. You know. Okay, yeah, I'll give you a contact info. I'm I'm spread pretty thin, but at least if I get on your if I can get on your mailing list, that would be good. And I can help. Is that what you want to know? The shirt? Is that what you was interested in? Or you want some information? Oh, you want to sign up also? What I give our shirt? So the name is Pam. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna. Prison Action Milwaukee. Eminem is Pam. Eminem is Pam. I'm gonna make. I have a, my own e email domain, so I make up my own. E oh, I'll okay. make up a Pam email for a minute for you guys. All right, thanks a lot. Do um, you have enough? I think I'm okay with it. You can have that back, but I, thanks a lot. Thank you. Hey guys. Would you like to sign up for this better view? Uh, I can sign up. Um, so this will get me to your website then? Yeah, to the petition. Okay, that's cool. I don't even I don't know if the I wonder if that'll work on video. But I'll I'll take that home and then can I sign up at the website to get on your mailing list? I'll give you my email address. I've been doing it.
Thank you. Well, actually, I don't. I don't know what you guys. Talk. All right, take care.